So here's number three, we're going to analyze solutions of y prime is equal to sine y. Okay, so this one's a little bit different, right? Because we don't have like something that's a polynomial which we can factor and then just find the roots and stuff. But here we can still find roots nonetheless. Um, so when is y prime going to equal zero? And that would be when y is equal to uh, zero or any, well, pretty much any plus or minus multiple of pi, right? Because n could be zero and that would give us zero. Um, or it could be pi, negative pi, two pi, whatever, right? Anytime we hit one side um, of the unit circle, basically, okay? Either the left or right side. So let's look at um, the y prime, y prime versus y graph, okay? So let's do one, two, three. We'll go negative three pi, negative two pi, negative pi. This is zero. Then we have one, two, three pi. So here's a positive pi, positive two pi, and positive three pi, okay? And at each of these, we're just going to draw an open circle just for now and we'll see which ones we can fill in later okay so now we'll just do our sine graph and this starts um, at zero goes up comes down goes up comes down so it's just an alternating pattern right so this one's gonna go down up and down and up again alright so now from here we're gonna draw our arrows right so anytime we have a section where um, the y prime graph goes above the y the y axis when it's positive, then we just draw an arrow to the right. And whenever it's negative, we just draw an arrow to the left. Okay, so right, left, right, left. Like I said, it's just an alternating pattern here, right? So then we have a left one here and a right one and everything like that. So then we're going to fill in. I know it's kind of hard to see, but um, for example, let's look at the pi, this negative pi one. This point here has two arrows on either side of it pointing toward it, right? So we're just going to fill that in, as is this one. And this one pi, at positive pi and positive 3 pi, okay? So the phase line looks something like this. So we have, this is our y, and we have um, 2 pi. Here, I'll label them right after. So 0 pi, 2 pi, uh, negative pi, and negative 2 pi, okay? So at each of these points, we have our dot, okay? And then um, we have these going out like that. I'll just draw in our arrows, okay? So something like this. And they alternate, so we just alternate the directions of the arrows. Okay, and then so here we have closed at, uh, well, a closed circle or a closed dot at negative pi and at pi and all the odd ones, basically, right? So what we have is actually um, when y of t is equal to plus or minus pi times an odd number, which is given by 2n plus 1. Okay, that's how you get an odd number, right? So basically, I'll just write in parentheses, this is an odd number. When it's an odd number times pi, um, it doesn't matter, positive or negative, then we have an asymptotically stable equilibrium point. Asymptotically stable equilibrium point. Whereas if we have our y of t is equal to plus or minus a positive, um, positive number times pi, which includes zero as well, right? Then this is uh, unstable. It's an unstable equilibrium point, okay? And graphically what this looks like, um, on our y versus t graph is the following. We're going to have something like this, um, which I'll show you here. So this is negative 2 pi, negative pi, 0, positive pi, and positive 2 pi. We're just going to draw our circles here, or our dots, right? And then we're going to fill in the ones that need filling in. So positive pi and negative pi in this case. We're going to draw straight lines through each of these. Straight line, straight line, straight line there, straight line and the last straight line, okay? And then we just follow the arrows, right? So, um, well actually, what you can do is just follow the dots. So everything should be approaching the closed dots, okay? And going away from the open ones, right? So it's just gonna look something like this. It's gonna cross over and go toward that line there. This one's gonna cross over and go toward the closed dot one. And then this one's gonna come down toward it, okay? And then this one's gonna go up and away toward the three pi line, okay? So something like that. And that's what our solutions look like. Okay, so that wraps it up for our practice problems video for section 2.9 on autonomous equations and stability. I hope that helps and good luck on your homework. <laughs>